Hey everybody, let's talk about arrays. An array is a data structure that can store many values of the same data type. Here's an example. Let's say I have a variable named price, and I have the price of maybe one item in a fictional store of ours. So by using an array, we can actually store more than one value, but it has to be of the same data type. So I can turn this variable price into an array, and I can do that by following the name of the variable and add a set of straight brackets. Brackets, and then any values I would like to add to this array, I will surround with a set of curly braces. And there we go, we have turned our variable price into an array. But I'm going to change the name to prices because I think it would be more descriptive because we can store more than one value now. So we can add multiple values, each separated with a comma. So let's say we have another price that is $10, $15, $25, and maybe 20. Now you may have noticed some parallels when we create a string. It's really an array of characters. So if I need a name, we would say the data type is char, and we will create a name array followed by a set of square brackets. And I will set this equal to some amount of characters. A string is really just an array of individual characters. And with my name here, I have three individual elements, three individual values. Now, if I need to access one of these values, I need to use an index number. So let's print one of these numbers. So printf, I'm going to use the format specifier for a double, and I'm going to list my array name, prices, then follow this with a set of straight brackets, then I need an index number. So each spot within an array is known as an element. So we have five elements within our array. And to access one of these elements, I need to list an index number. The first element has an index number of zero because computers always start with zero. So if I display prices at index zero, this contains the number five. I'm actually going to format this. Let's display two digits after the decimal and I'll precede this number with a dollar sign. Much better. All right, so then if I display prices at index one, that is technically our second number of $10. So prices at index two is 15. Three is 25. And four, which is our last element, is 20. So arrays, they have a fixed size. We can't change the size after we compile and run our program. Another thing that you can do too, if you do not know what values you would like to initialize your array with, you can always just set a size. Let's say I would like a size of five elements, but then I'll assign some values later. So later on in our program, we can say prices at whatever index, let's say index zero, I'm going to assign with five. And I'll do the same thing for the other elements. So prices at index one is maybe 10. Prices at index two is 15. Three will be 25. And four will be 20. That's another way in which you can initialize an array. You can always set a size and then add elements later. Another option is that you could combine the two. We could set a size right away. So maybe prices will have a size of 10 and we can right off the bat assign some values right away. So we have five elements that are currently filled but then the other five are empty. So there's a few different ways in which you can initialize an array. So yeah, that's basically an array. It's a data structure that can store many values of the same data type. Initializing an array is much like creating a variable, except you will add a set of straight brackets after, and then you can either add some values right away or later on in your program, but you need to list an index number of where you're placing a value within the array. And then to access a value within your array, you type the array name followed by an index number, kind of like a parking spot number. So yeah, those are arrays. In the next video, I'm going to show you how we can iterate over the elements in an array using a for loop. If you would like a copy of this code, I will post this to the comment section down below. And well, yeah, that's an introduction to arrays in C.